Okay, today we're going to be shearing a lamb, talking about the different types of blades that we're going to use. Today we're going to shear a south down lamb, and there's three different types of blades that we can choose from. The first one is a surgical. Now the surgical blade gets the lambs extra close. We pretty much see this used mainly on medium wool lambs. Uh, for the most part, I like to use the A2 fine on the lambs that are south downs and fine wools and sometimes the crossbred lambs. Uh, the fine leaves the wool just a little bit longer and on most of these when we show our fine wool south downs and, and fine wool crosses, they're going to show a day before the medium wools. And so the other blade that we'll be using today is an A2 medium. And on our south downs, on the heads, sometimes we'll like to use the medium on those heads to leave just a little more wool stubble on them to make them look more in terms of the breed type. Um, when we put clippers on, we have several different type of clippers that we're using today. They have a bolt that holds the blades on the clippers, so you'll loosen that. This is the cutter. The cutter is the first part that goes on your, blade, on your machines. It's got a little roller ball down there and a little track that it sits in with the sharp side up. Always on our cutters and our combs, the shiny side is the sharp side. Those are going to go together to cut the wool. And you can see on our comb, it has a sharp, smooth side, and then it has a side that has ridges on it. This is what will be against the lamb. Okay? So our comb and our cutter, sharp sides or shiny sides go together. The first one we're going to put our cutter on, two little tracks, the roller ball that fit right in this holder. And then we're going to take our comb, turn it over. We have two prongs or pegs that fit into these holes. Okay, we've got our tension bolt, our tension spring, and our tension knob. We're going to put it down and then tighten it up. The knob has a little guide there, so we're going to tighten this particular set of blades all the way down until it's snug. You can see our little guide there. We're going to loosen them one and a half turns, and then we should be ready to go. The next thing that we're going to do on these, it's always important to keep these tools well oiled, is we're going to put some oil here into the middle, and I always like to put a little bit here on the side. We're going to check, make sure our teeth on our cutter are out here on the edge and that we got the proper spacing, and we should be ready to go. Another set of clippers that we'll often use when we're doing the boots or we're rough shearing these lambs is an Oster, just regular shear master with a sheep head on it. Now the difference between these, they've got a little more power and they're good for rough shearing your lamb before the show and during the year to monitor how much body condition that he has on him. Uh, when we're using these type of clippers, the animals have to be washed. When we're using these type of clippers, you can shear them just regular. You don't have to wash them. And so I like shearing them and keeping them pretty close. You know, I never like to let those lambs get over about a half inch of wool on them because I can't feel the condition over the ribs as well. So these are easy to use. Today we're going to be using a 20 tooth comb. Uh, this type of comb is really good for starting the boots when we have a, a lamb that has a lot of boot wool and we want to take off a significant amount to begin with before we do our fine tuning with these clippers. The big difference is you can go faster with these, they leave a little more stubble and we don't have to have the animal washed. Versus these clippers, they're a lot more teeth, they're going to get the, the cut a lot smoother and the, the consequence is that this is what we're going to use to show shear the animals to get them ready to go into the show ring and due to the number of teeth you can't go as fast you have to have them clean but it gets them extremely smooth so those are the difference in type of, of combs and cutters uh, equipment that we're going to use today as we go through and shear this lamp 